Hey guys, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad has a new update. We have now version 19.1.2. If you come to the App Store, always here you will see the latest news and you can actually click here on more and then you see what they actually did. So for this update, it's a very minor update, addressed gyro stabilization crashes in some B-RAW decoding modes, addressed a potential DRFX naming conflict and general performance and stabilization improvement. So this is a very minor one. The cool thing is this time it was updated at the same time. So we got the update for the iPad version as well as for the desktop version at the same time. And if you're curious here, you can always come here to what's new, then you see all of the different versions histories like for example the big update for 19.0 if you come here to this one and you click on this you will see the whole list with all the updates that we have since 19.0 and you can just go through it and now let's go in and see if all of the pages are still working in DaVinci Resolve here for the iPad so we're loading up and there's also a cool thing it's always showing some of the black magic products so we're reloading our project that still works so let's go and see for the shortcuts and here we have the edit page and the fusion page. Let's go if my finger is not fat. Okay, it works. We still have all the other pages. So you're safe for the new update as well. Let me know in the comments if everything worked on your machine as well. This is Daniel on this channel. It's all about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. See you in the next video. Bye bye.